emergency backup power for your HF radio station is a lot easier than you might think. Believe it or not, I've never used any more than 10 amps worth of power supply for any of my ham radio stations. The reason for this is because my first HF radio, my first real HF radio, was a Kenwood TS480HX, which is 200 watts and requires a minimum of 40 amps power supply. So what I realized was it was a heck of a lot easier to use a 10 amp power supply with something like this. This is the West Mountain Radio PowerGate PG40S. I'm not sure if they make this particular unit anymore, but what this does is controls the battery charge level for you. Now, the beauty of this setup is when you have a couple of essentially deep cycle marine or car batteries wired together in parallel, you have a lot of backup battery available to you. Obviously, you can't run your 110 volt linear amp when the power is off, or at least you can't very easily. But with 100 watts and a halfway decent antenna, you can hear a whole lot better when all your neighbor's power supplies are turned off and all the local utilities are turned off, and there's a whole lot less noise. Off the top of my head, I couldn't tell you what the West Mountain radio power gates are selling for these days, but I know there's a bunch of offshore knockoffs, I guess you could say, on Amazon and whatnot, if you're really interested in saving a buck. However, these are things worth considering if you have concerns about emergency communications as it relates to HF radio. You know, if your power supply can't turn on, generally speaking, your radio can't turn on. So what good does it do you?